Hello, hi! Welcome to more Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon. Game might be a little low. I don't know. Uh, how do other people feel? Do you think the game needs to go up? You've been eating too much pineapple and now you feel the burn. Those enzymatic juices. I like me a good pinyap, but I don't like... Game should be a little louder. Okay, let me do that. I like pineapple by itself. I don't like pineapple with meat. So, no, I am against pinyap on pizza, but I respect other people wanting to put pinyap on pizza. I, I understand that. Pronouncing pineapple in a way that remind, r rhymes with monopoly. Pinopoly? <laughs> Alright, I'm here, because I was going to get the, the kitty in here. Well, might as well, since I'm here. I realized I'm probably not going to get all the cats. Because I think... I know there's a gold fortune doll in the last dungeon. And there is, I think, like, one white one in the last dungeon. So you should come there with, like, 18 hearts. And as you can see, I did not have 18. Eh, I wasn't intending to go for all the kitties. I wanted to get them. But I don't know where the ones I'm missing are. And I can't really be bothered to go look it up. It's like that one um, piece of heart I did not pick up in a, like, a Link Between Worlds. Oh, I'm gonna... I did not miss fighting with this camera. <sighs> Good. You can't eat a single bite of pineapple without your tongue burning. Same with oranges or orange juice. Oh, no. Well, that sounds miserable. Like, just a, a sensitivity to, to citrus. Okay, which one was the locked door? I think it was this one. You love pronouncing words strangely. What are some other good ones that I've heard? Um, pronouncing Chipotle like Aristotle and vice versa. So like Chipotle and Aristotle. Those are pretty good. I can't believe I went all the way back for this cat. You can't eat raw celery without your tum going a uh, tum <laughs> tongue going numb. Apparently that's kind of common. Are you sure it's not an allergy or something? I haven't heard of that, but then I'm hardly worldly and experienced enough to say whether or not that's common. But I mean if it's uncomfortable to eat, don't eat it. Pottle H. This is not where I need to go. Stop! A mild allergy. Oh. I remember reading on this forum for baristas once. And someone said their store had blackberry syrup. And they had a customer that loved to order like a blended green tea frappe with blackberry syrup. And then the customer mentioned, oh yeah, I'm super allergic to blackberry, but it's totally worth it every time. And just, I guess, I guess if you think it's fine to, I mean, presumably not super allergic that it's life-threatening, but allergic enough that it would be unpleasant to eat. Cooked celery is totally fine. Oh gosh, that's, I'm so curious now why this occurs. Some mispronunciation you came up with at work the other day that made you laugh really hard and you can't remember what! No, you gotta share it with the class, Endora! Or 1,000 years detention. Okay, flute. You can't touch silk without your hands feeling like they're being burnt and electrocuted at the same time. Ugh. You know, I find silk as a weird texture. I know it's supposed to be so luxurious. There's just something about it. I don't know, maybe I haven't, like felt really good silk. But it always feels like the kind of fabric that's gonna stick to you. Like, you ever sit in a leather couch? Suede, like, suede is fine, but just, I... I remember my grandma had this white leather couch, and I hated sitting on it because it... Especially... She lived in Winnipeg, 
and we'd go visit her in the summer. And Winnipeg gets really hot and humid in the summer, so you just you feel like you stick to the couch, and it's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your brother likes to pronounce motorcycle as motorcycle? Am I saying that correctly? Or incorrectly, as it were. It feels like a waste that I went back for that cat. Because I'm not going to get all of them. And I'm only going to get uh, one more white one, I think, in the last dungeon. Clipboard like cupboard. Clibbered? <laughs> Clibbered the big red dog. Forgot how cool the music was out here. Snow area's best music. Okay, here we go. Ugo. I was thinking to myself, I got the last miracle item right from the Kappa. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you wish to save the- yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are! The four- or I guess it's- there you are! The four miracle items! Now open the passage to outer space! I am the Pemo Pemo God. Let me warn you that once you go to outer space, you may never be able to return. Will you still go? Yes, yeah, sure. I commend you for your courage. Man, what are these, like the eyes? What kind of statue is that from? I, I can't remember the name. Apparently, the Pemo Pemo God appears in an earlier Goemon game, but I can't tell you which one. Anyway, here we are, just like that, in space. Gorgeous musical castle. Oh, gold dumples. I hope everyone has uh, come to appreciate the music in this series. I think I gotta be Suzuki. Ikza? What is in that door down there? Is there an easy way to get back up? I just wanna, t I just wanna turn the camera. I wanna... Oh, I was pressing the wrong R button. I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna go up here. Hi, Joanna! This is the end game. Yes, this is the final dungeon. We are in space. Not that you can really tell. Maybe if we had, like, a window we could peek out of. Up you go. Oh, no. Well, I guess I can see what's in this door. A doku, thank you. It's like razor blades coming at me. This is always your favorite song in the game as a kid. Good taste. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. I really liked, um... The festival village music, though. Oh. Okay, so that just leads back here. So if you fall, you have to go through the razor blade gauntlet. I see. Soldis. I hope everybody's well today. Um, today was my second day at my new store, which was... Busy, but not as stressful as busy periods at my previous store felt like. Uh, because we have a lot more staff, and everyone knows what they're doing, everyone's very friendly, everyone's so helpful, so you don't feel like you're doing the work of three people like I did previously. It's still very busy, and my back is a little unhappy with me. I think it's my, my shoes. I need to get some more orthotic inserts. Yeah, the people there are really nice. I was, I don't want to say pleasantly surprised, but, you know, I'm always really nervous um, meeting new people. It's like, I gotta put on my person face, you know? I am very shy, believe it or not. Okay, presumably I can just drop. Uh, actually, no, there's a ladder at the end, so. Mm, do I want to fall into the tomato soup? No, not particularly. Oh, well, I'm in there anyway. Soup, soup. My feet do hurt, yeah. Um, and I'm sure it's because my 
previous orthotics were, or rather are, a couple years old at this point. Um, so I definitely need new ones. But it's just... Uh, I gotta find a place that'll direct bill my insurance. And... I don't like the websites or places are always like we we direct bills some insurance but like well can you give me some company names I guess I could just call them but uh. oh my shoes are, are fair are newer so I don't think it's the shoes that are the problem it's the uh, the inserts because they're worn out. Comfortable socks that too. Maybe someday I'll splurge on some good socks. You know what I did splurge on when I was in Ikea getting stuff for this apartment? Did I not? Oh, I already opened. Right. <laughs> I already used my gold key. What's down here? Oh, pain. It's pain. Um, I got like a nice towel <laughs> for my, my bathroom. Like a really thick, absorbent, fluffy towel. And it's like, where have you been all my life? <laughs> fluffy, absorbent towel. I'm gonna assume the key is this way. Oh, this is... Whoop, get up there. We direct bill some insurance, not yours. I've had that happen before. Um, where... I've gone to a place and found that they direct bill most insurances, but not mine. Actually, the uh, physiotherapist I go to for my deep tissue massages... Um, used to not direct bill me, so I'd always have to send a claim in, which I just hated doing. Even if you could do it through an app, I still hate doing it. Um, but now, uh, now they direct bill my insurance. You didn't realize towels could be nice and fluffy until you were well into your teens. It's so nice though, right? Crappy hand-me-down towels. Mine was more like just cheap towels, I guess. I never got really fluffy ones before. Ah, uh, kitty. Boy, that's gonna bother me now. <laughs> if only I had gotten one more, but I didn't. What is up here? Anything useful? Dolls. Whack. Ah. Uh, okay, never mind. Pew. Oh, okay. So that leads up there, but I don't have a key yet. I think? Or do I have a key? And I, I used it and I... No, I don't have a key. I do not have a key. Okay, where am I actually going? Oh, right, the hole! Hoi hoi! I hope you all had a nice weekend! Um, I can't even... What did I do on the weekend? I don't even remember. Time is a flat circle. Dreaded work is basically what I did on the weekend. Oh! I know what I have to share with the stream. I have acquired a copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Finally. So, Friday will be Mario Kart Day. I haven't played it yet because I got it yesterday evening and I was just too tired from work. But Mario Kart will be on Friday. So if you would like to join me for Mario Kart, um, my Switch friend code is... I think there's a way you can integrate it with Twitch. And I never did. But... Um, bleh. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, it's on... Oh, uh, no. It's on my Twitter. Which is Moriarty Switch. Two R's. If you're watching this on Twitch, it's linked below the video. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Oh, you also got Mario Kart 8. Very nice. Oh, man. You know what? Ibisumato, you're cramping my style. Sonic. You absolutely can join in. The more the merrier. I would be very happy if people joined me for Mario Kart. Oh, man. I feel like this would be easier if I could see better. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, I have not 
gotten the DLC yet. I've heard if, like, one player has it, then everyone can use it online, but I don't know if that's, that's true or not. Um... I mean, I'm sure I can probably get the DLC, or I could get the Nintendo Switch expansion. No, no, I won't. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm so sorry. <laughs> can I just... yeah. Like, I don't even know why I'm bother bothering trying, but I can just do this. I'm a genius! Ugh, okay. No more of that, please. Early 3D platforming is rough. Yeah, but you can only make so many excuses. One of these days I do gotta stream uh, Mario 64 because I have the the Mario All-Stars on the Switch, but... Oh, the staircase doesn't stay down? That's a drag. I'm almost nervous to go back to it. Because, I mean, I played a lot of Mario 64 back in the day, too. But it's been so long. It's like, you know, it's like Mario Kart. Playing older Mario Karts after you're accustomed to newer ones, I don't even need that dang staircase, um, is always jarring because you appreciate how the series has evolved, but also how the controls have been refined. So going back to something less than perfect is tricky. You do love Mario 64, but parts of it are a little clunky. Yeah, it still holds up really well, I think. But yeah, you know, the early camera. The wing cap, I don't know, I always struggle using the wing cap. I don't know why. I think... If you ever have it, you're using the wing cap. And Mario will just start, like, going up and down and up and down. Um, and you just feel like you're constantly losing altitude. Is there anything I need down here? Or is it just some dumples? I'd probably be better off playing the N64 version of Mario 64 with Project 64. I could. Oh, what, so why you put this here if I can't break it with my... Oh, you know what? I can. I think... Can't I use the bazooka underwater? Oh, okay, never mind. It works. I know in my head you could use the bazooka underwater, but I guess not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi, Lane! Welcome! Yeah, the flying in Mario 64 is kind of weird, right? Oh, should I be saying lane? Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, this is some good tunage. Oops. <laughs> it didn't open right away, and I was like, do I have to break it? Lane, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's on me. It's on me. Get off. You could change your chat name to Joanna. I mean, it's whatever you want people to call you, right? This is where Sogan Town of Bizen used to be. It's become so strange, it makes you want to yell, This is nothing like Kyushu! Woohoo! Alright. The Peach Mountain Musical is on twice a day, at 1 and 5 p.m. It's always the same content, but I keep on seeing it anyway. When I woke up in the morning, the town looks so different. Well, it doesn't really matter to me. Alright. Yeah, you don't have to be a brand. Oh yeah, well, no, I think... Can't you change your display name on Twitch? Like, you're limited to how often you can do it, like once a month or... I don't know. Our Sogan Town has become what it is now in an instant. I've got no idea how we're going to be able to manage from now on. I'm trying to read this, but it's like at a weird angle. Looks like Doji Doji o Konami. Uh, let me try and zoom in. No, no, I can't. No, I can't see it. Never mind. I guess Konami would make sense. This area is terrible for business. Nobody comes here. I should just give up being a merchant and become a musical star. That's how I feel about my job. I saw Peach Mountain Shogun's musical yesterday as well. Dancing is just great. If I could be paid for making music... Okay, now, if I could be paid, like, a comfortable living wage for making music and streaming and voice acting and doing the stuff that I have fun doing. Ow. 
Ugh. Customize capitalization for your username. You may not change your display name, only the capitalization of it. Oh. Why is this here? This dead end. It's annoying me. Somebody did not design their hedge maids well. Uh, that's for food. I don't remember what this one is. Oh, it's got like the cute- Oh, Omitsu! I was like, it has the cute Omitsu music. It's because she's here. Oh! Yay! Omitsu! Great, you're okay! Omitsu! I'm glad you're okay! I didn't know what would happen when I saw Kyushu flying away. It surprised me at the time, but I'm alright. I'm sorry to have worried you. But to see all of Kyushu in this state... Peach Mountain's instant stage beam's power has increased! We've got to do something quickly! Just imagine if they continued to do this to all of Japan! That's right! By the way, I wonder where Dance and Lily are. I heard that they were behind the doors right ahead of us, but the door is rigid and cannot be opened easily. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the door down. We've got no time for dumb jokes. I know. I know someone who could help us. Who? I'm sure he's at the restaurant. She's so cute. I'm sure we can find the person who can help us at the restaurant. Just the music. All the young women seem to be going to the Peach Mountain musical quite often. I wonder if it's the same in other towns as well. Wow. How's my imitation? Don't I sound just like Kitty Lily? Eerie. It's like she's still with us today. Change what your name looks like in chat is a better Twitch TV setting. That might be it. Oh, right. Uh, uh, restaurant. Camera. Is there anything back here? Nope, just pain. Just pain. Just pain. Just pain. Uh. Hello, Cave Sprout. I do. I actually, I've had this advertise for a while, but I haven't, I don't bring it out all the time. Um, when is the last time I've used this one? Splatoon, I think, when I was streaming Splatoon. Um. I bring it out now and then, depending on whether or not it would be distracting in the game. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks familiar. Do the young women prefer flashy men like the dancing guy? Oh wait, hang on a second, hang on. Hello, welcome. There. It's a very cute game. Well, it's a very weird game with some good music. Maybe I should be wearing makeup myself. Yeah, get yourself some foundation. Cat-eyed man. Welcome. What will you have? Chanpon noodles. Delicious noodles with plenty of vegetables. Your strength gauge will increase by five points. Give me the nudes. Give me the nudes. I've had enough. Yeah, this guy. Hey! Yai, it's you! It can't be! Wise man? It is! It's my old man, wise man! I am just overjoyed to see you! But I thought Wise Man died. You couldn't be further from the truth. Just look at me, I'm as healthy as ever. No, I know. I know the phrasing. <laughs> the laugh track perfectly. Then who was the spirit the witch called for us? Yes, there is something strange about that, but let's not worry about it now. But what are you doing here? Well, I was caught by the Peach Mountain guys, and I gave them mechanical robots and an instant stage beam. Well, in exchange for a muscle car poster and five car magazines. What? Oh, uh, I mean, I strongly resisted, but they forced me to make them. Well, it all makes sense then. The mechanics seem so familiar. I don't know what to say. But that's strange. If they kidnapped you, what reason did they have to blow up your home? What did you just say? My house has been blown up? Ugh, all those car magazines I collected over the years. Who would do such a thing? We believe it was probably the Peach Mountain guys. 
I will not forgive them. Hand me your weapons. Here, take this. The power of the weapons belonging to Goemon and the allies has increased to level 3. With these weapons, even rigid doors can be destroyed. Don't you feel our journey is taking some wild turns? Go get him! Take revenge for my poor car magazines! Yeah, it's a localization choice in the original Japanese. It's not car magazines. Another old man with a crippling hentai addiction. <laughs> so I can see why they changed it, but at the same time... I was going to say it's hard to imagine somebody getting so riled up over car magazines. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, this is too spicy for Twitch. You can see their ankles. Wise Man has acts of Sasuke coverage. Gams. Oh yeah, there's a secret if you jump in the painting. It's a kitty! Ruthless Joanna. I just noticed it's so good. You did it! How'd you do it? Oh, no ankles! <gasps> oh, my delicate sensibilities! I can't see something so scandalous! Hello, Rai fam! Welcome! We're getting near the end of the game. This is the final part of the final dungeon. I can't get up this way, can I? No. Oh, you changed your whole account name? Dang. I like Ruthless. That's powerful. Is there anything down here? No. Okay. Can I have to close your eyes? It's okay. There's no ankles present for now. If I could turn the camera. There we go. Oh, uh, no. Grab it. No. Yay. Oh well, the music here is really good, so we can all enjoy that while I fall off these things. Ugh, there we go. Batter. Okay. Uh, let me try this door. I'm glad people are enjoying the emotes. I still have a couple slots, and I have an animate. I have a couple animated slots, but I don't know what to, to do with them. I gotta think about it. What is down here? Do I want to jump down here? Do I want to throw myself into the abyss? This is like bowling alley carpet. Oh, does just just go in a circle? I guess it does. You have more Mario RPG localization tidbits. Please share them with the class. Okay, hang on. Here we go! Oh, no, no, no. I really don't like the fact you can't use that while you're moving. Because, as you've seen, it made me fall into a pit before. Oh, I don't need going on. I can just do that. Yeah. Uh, what is what is over there? Gold Dongo? Gold Dongo. I'm good. Bowser is even more best boy than we thought he was. Go on. If such a thing is even possible. Okay, here we go. Yeah. You changed your name once when you were changing it everywhere, and you had to try a few. But now we get Lane. Ooh. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I almost walked into the soup. Don't do that. I walked. I walked into the suit. I did that. Oh, I see. I see. I was like, why would you put these here when clearly I don't need to go over them? But no, there's Jet of Fire. It's better than how you pronounce it. How how does one No, how does one pronounce it? No. Please. Ah, oh, I'm dying, Goemon. Well, I guess Goemon's dying, not me. Can I not pull? Can I push from this little bit? Hanging out then? No? Oh, and it wore off. You know, why don't I just go around? I don't have to push anything. Just go in the soup. Just do it. Maybe don't do it that much, but do it. 
Okay, what opened? Oh, there, okay. This is a speedrun strat. So how is he harder on himself at Booster Tower? Oh, with the... Don't, like, vanish. Oh, you know what I never showed off, which would be a good uh, thing to do right now? Is this meat saw hammer. Delicious. The same, but you don't think you say this enthusiastically. Oh, they've got... They're like rocket dolls. Yeah, Abisumaru's run is so good. Just the... The pinwheeling! It's pretty- whoa. Oh, you take multiple hits. Probably because I'm using this hammer. This weak sauce hammer. But it looks like food, so that's okay. Is it gonna come back down? Rocket Dolls would be a good band name. Uh, did I, like, miss my opportunity? Let me, let me leave and come back. Ah, rude. Rude! Okay. Can I do this? Cool. Weak Sauce Hammer would also be a good band name. What kind of music would they play? In English, she says Booster has a nice tower. But in Japanese, the translation's more like, Such a nice tower. Now I have nothing. My castle is occupied. I'm now homeless. I'm such a failure. And then he turns around crying and sees Mario. Beautiful. Is the place I'm supposed to go, like... Oh, here we go. Oh. Describing your band as weak sauce is a power move. Ah, uh, roses. Oh, is this the slide? That goes... Okay, well, well, that answers that question. Whoa. Hope there was nothing I needed up there. Okay, um, does it matter which way? I guess I have to go this way. Uh, uh why do I try and just gun it? Booster, aka Buki, is not a complete idiot. Really? Like, he's not, like, just a total... Like, is he super weird? In Japanese, at least? I mean, Booster's gotta be super weird. I don't want to judge him based on his face, but I'm judging him based on his face. Like, in English, he has a very childish way of talking, so I wonder if he still speaks very childishly in Japanese. Also, it's, it's safe for work here now. There's no more ankles. It's decent again. I stayed on for two jumps while flipping. That's rad. Oh, thank you. Oh, I really wish the camera... What? Oh, hello, Heron. Welcome. Wait, wait. I got a free hand. Hang on. Wait, no, I pressed the wrong... Nuh, I can't see. There. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Took me a second. It's not the most intuitive camera with... Um, oh, there is another kitty here! Oh, thank goodness. I thought there were only two white kitties. Bringing censorship to the ankle lair. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you prefer to be called something other than Heron, please let me know. Names are very important. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you for catching me live. The texture of this room reminds you of the basement in Mario 64, but there's no rabbit to catch. There's no mips. What's the point? Oh, here's the tumble dryer. I feel like there is... <laughs> even even uh, knowing to control the camera, like, it still fights me a lot. Like, I know how to control it, but it's... You know, it's early N64 camera. Actually, I say early N64. I don't remember when this came out, even though, you know, I was looking at the title screen not that long ago. It is feisty. Feisty is a good word for it. I want that. <laughs> I died for those dongo. 
All right, learn my lesson. Oh, I'm missing a half heart. I should get those those dumples and look what I've done. Japan in 97. Okay. 98 in the US before Ocarina of Time. Like if this game had Z targeting like Ocarina of Time, imagine. I think that was one of the greatest strengths of Ocarina of Time making Zelda work in a three-dimensional space was having Z targeting. Peach Mountain Main Hall entrance. Oh, here we go. Oh boy, this is it. I gotta play Klonoa. I'm gonna. Welcome. Welcome to our stage, Lala. Fernandez. I'm not Fernandez. Behave yourself. This will be your last stop anyway. What do you mean? Today is the day you get to experience our secret powers. What's this extra confidence I sense? I don't know what secret powers they say they have, but they can't defeat us. Yes, you're right. I don't see any way that they can beat us. I want to do the laugh. Don't be so sure of yourselves. All we have to do is join our two forces together, Lala. And it will be history for you guys. Starting right now, we will make you our die hard fans, yes. Die hard fans. What? Listen, Lala, to this song, Lala. Observe, Lala, the dance, Lala, of the Peach Mountain Shoguns, Lala. The uh, Japanese above it says Neo, Neo, because their uh, name in Japanese was the uh, Neo Peach Mountain Shoguns, I believe. Neo Momoyama. Anyway, I guess I should stop being smug. Uh, where's my non-smug button? There. Ugh. What was that? I, I can't believe it. I don't know, but I think I'm becoming a diehard fan of Dancing and Lily. Come on! Open your eyes! Hey, where did Danson and the guys go? What the? T minus 120 seconds. Swine! They reactivated the time bomb and ran! T minus 100 seconds. That was the fastest 20 seconds ever. I'm not letting them escape! Yeah, sure. Give me the dude. You think you are now a diehard fan? Oh, me too. <laughs> too bad we go blow him up. This is the last impact song. Please enjoy. I won't sing along this time. Machine. 
がうなる俺は機械だ鉄人だ今解き放てよ鋼の魂Hello, I'm back. <laughs> no, Smug Mori is not gone. Smug Mori is eternal when I'm doing this. A famous Japanese singer s i n g e s Yeah, uh, uh, man, we brought up his name a couple streams ago.、Um, Hiro, Hiro no Ku something? Oh, man.、Um, but yeah, it is a, a famous Japanese singer.、Um, but yeah, he, I think he's the lead singer of Jam Project that does a lot of like mecha and. Tokusatsu songs? Wow, that was impressive. So, if you want like really hard, I was gonna say hard boiled, maybe that's not quite the word, but like really intense, hot blooded, that's the word I want, mecha action. I'm gonna not jump in holes anymore. Oh, this was sung by Ichiro Mizuki. Okay, different, okay, I got his name wrong, but yeah. That's the guy, the guy I was thinking of. Oh, so this was Ichiro Mizuka. Boy, okay. Ichiro Mizuki, but the opening was Hironobu Kageyama. Okay, well, that's why I'm getting them mixed up. This game does rule, doesn't it? Jam Project did the One Punch Man theme, too. I didn't get to see all of that show. I got to see like half of the first season, and I enjoyed it. Whoosh! But the great Peach Mountain battleship Balbera. And yeah, it's Barubera in Japanese, so that isn't a localization thing. I don't really remember how to fight this thing except shoot the core. Like you're playing Gradius or something. Gradius? Uh, mines. Oh, wait, I want more bullets, so I better punch these. I wish I had a rapid fire button just to spare you having to hear the click, click, click of my controller. And Ted Woolsey did an amazing job with Mario RPG's localization. Same with Final Fantasy VI, too. It's just very memorable. Like, especially knowing the constraints that localizers were under at the time. I, especially not getting to see, like, your work in context. Knife Guy and. Oh, hang on. Don't read the chat. Knife Guy and Great Guy in Japanese are older clown brother and younger clown brother. Huh. Like, do they use p i e t o l for clown? Yeah, the Goemon script definitely has some issues and some. They changed a couple things that.、Um, oh, hang on. Oh, phew, just snuck that in there. They changed a couple things, I think, for the better, not just the car magazine things, but some unfortunate terminology. Well, I just didn't even notice those flying at me. Good job. The only part of the localization you're not fond of is the Mario enemies that don't retain their names. That is kind of a weird one, which makes me wonder, like, like、uh, if Ted Woolsey wasn't familiar with them beforehand,、um, or if he wasn't given any notes about, oh, yeah, these enemies or these names should be this, you know? Open your core. Open your core! I want to shoot the fruit! Okay.、Uh, oh, come on. It's a little harder to press all the buttons in sequence when you're using、uh, the right stick instead of C buttons. Yeah. Weirdo, weirdo in localization was,、uh, I guess, 
Originally, Okama, which is often used very unflatteringly to refer to um, trans women, but、I'm, there's a lot of different contexts for it.、Um, mostly it's unkind.、Uh, Legends of Localization has an interesting article on it, which、um, actually makes reference to this game. However, you know, because of the nature of the issue,、um, it does use some、uh, slurs. You know, to talk about them in an academic context, but just be aware of that if that's something you may find upsetting. You know, gotta take care of yourself. A <laughs> basic B, which I think is funnier. Goodbye, Princess Peach. But wait! The grand finale is about to begin! The fairy of love and dreams, De Toi, which is our French for star, I believe. Did I pronounce it right? I don't know. I don't freaking remember how to fight this guy. Got a lot of health, though, that's for sure. Good. Oh, you know what? I think I have to use the chain pipe to, to dodge that. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Oh man, if I could, like, kick him or something, that'd be cool.、Mm. I don't think I want to use the laser yet. Heck, where is he? Oh, okay, that's, I think, where I have to use the chain pipe to stop him from hitting me. You know, I want. Do I want more Rio? I guess I don't need to worry about it. Like, what if I run out of bullets? Oh, I have so many bullets, it's fine. Okay, where? There we go. There might be a block, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Ugh. Man, that's terrible. I'm gonna I'm gonna die if I keep letting him hit me with that. <sighs> Too slow. Oh soy. Yeah, never block, only attack. Actually no, I don't want to use the laser yet. Hold that dot. That's how I play Pokemon. How do I stop that? Do I also need the chain pipe for that? Is there a block? Aw,、oh, man. I can't let him hit me with that or I'm gonna die. I only have 59 oil left. It's bad. Heck. Yeah, I'm gonna freaking die because I'm not trying to block that attack. If there is a block, can somebody tell me what it is? Because I have no idea. It's probably has something to do with the C buttons and, like, heck if I remember. <sighs> He moves really fast. Didn't hit? No,、oh, I'm dead. Rip. Yeah, I might need to block. Does anybody know what the block command is? Oh, it doesn't make me fight the peach again. That's cool. Thanks for not making me fight the peach again. Guide says no block. <laughs> well, maybe it's just timing. There we go! Okay, I guess I was just punching too soon. Or maybe I gotta use the strong punch to do it. And not the weak, fast punch. I'm watching you. Yeah! Okay, I just gotta use the strong punch. But yeah, that's how I play Pokemon. Is, you know, why bother with, like,、uh, attack buffing moves when I can just hit things? I say that, but like in Sword and Shield, I had a lot of success of using、um, Calm Mind with my Sinistee because、uh, it also had、um, weak armor, where if it took a hit, it would get a big speed boost. 
So, like, I use Calm Minds, and... Oh, no, it wasn't even Calm Mind, it was Nasty Plot. I had to use Nasty Plot, and then they would inevitably take a hit, and then get really fast, and they'd be really strong. Heck, I'm using the laser. Oh, that was a waste. And now we, I bet he's gonna use the attack that you need the laser for. Where are you? Oh, you're here. No, why can't you? There we go. You are a pro Twitter poster. You will not block. You will not block. But blocking is good for your health. True heroes don't block. They only dodge and counter. Correct. Isn't it more satisfying dodging something and parrying something? Ooh. <laughs> like, oh, I'll punch these all. It'll be really cool. And then I didn't. And it wasn't cool. Ascended Twitter users block everyone and never post. I think Joanna's got Twitter figured out. You gotta curate your feed really well, is the, the non-jokey answer. So, like, I follow artists and Japanese cat Twitter accounts. There's this munchkin cat I really like on Twitter called Uni, U-N-I. It looks like a toy! Like, I think... can't remember... oh, here we go. can't remember exactly what his, his Twitter name is. But Uni looks like a little doll. With like the perfect colon three cat smile face. But now that I figured out I gotta use the strong punch to block that attack, it's much easier. Lasers, laser, 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 laser. Just let me use the laser. I don't have enough juice for the laser. I don't care about damage, let me fire the laser! Eat dirt! In space! Is <laughs> 10 health left? Wow. Wouldn't that be really sad if, like, Ultraman, like, fired his laser and then, like, the boss had sliver, sliver of health left? Now eat space dirt. That... That cannot be. Me, a big star, lose like this. Oh! But Fernandez... Don't think for a moment that you have won. As long as the instant stage beam remains in our control, I'm certain we'll one day turn Japan into a gorgeous stage. Shut up! Your evil plans will end as of now. And my name is not Fernandez! It's Goemon! Go get him! Impact! There we go. <laughs> did he say Fernandez in the Japanese version? He sure did. Now they've become the star they've always wanted to be. There! How does that feel? Look at how far he has flown, though! Now he has really become a star in outer space! Okay, I'm headed home! Wasn't the joke Western dancers wanted to turn Japan into a stage play? I think so? I know the whole thing at the beginning, how they turned Oedo Castle into a Western-style one. Trying to bring their, like, European sensibilities over here. Even though they look very Japanese. Now, Japan will be peaceful again! But Goemon, what shall we do with Kyushu, still in outer space? Whoops. I forgot about that. Omitsu's still there. 
Ahoy! That looks like Kyushu over there. Yes, I see it too. I'd say that the time bomb set by Danson happened to just take out the control device of that castle. Too good to be true. Oh, but first, we must go to pick up my old man and Omitsu. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, should we get going? Hmm? Wait, what's that? Look there! Goemon! Look at all those cute girls! Well, uh, of course! We're the heroes that saved Japan from the Peach Mountain. But why is this the first time they've been so happy? Well, it must have something to do with them... Finally noticing my good looks. Hey, hey! Everyone just calm down! Everyone here wanting my autograph, start a line here! <laughs> hmm. Don't you think these girls are acting kind of strange? What? Hey! You guys! What have you done to dancing? The oh so beautiful song and dance of dancing and Lily? We won't be able to see them! Thanks to you, you little... I can't believe this! <laughs> you touched their bay, Goemon, so now you die. <laughs> Definitely the good looks. Which you won't have anymore once they pummel his face in. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, I love this game too. Nice to have more people that have played this one before. I feel like we have some people in chat that have played this game before and love it, and some people in chat who have never seen it before. Hopefully they love it too now. Dancing like Ted Danson, no. Spring Breeze Ted Danson. What are you doing? What are you... Please step on him. Actually, no, don't step on him. You might be into that. Ebisu, the chief director. He went on to found Goodfield Games. The guys behind Yoshi... Oh, Yoshi's Crafted World? Really? I didn't know that. It is a good game. You know, except for that. <laughs> yeah, Ebisu Mater. Time to take one for the team. Throw him to the mob. I guess it depends whoever runs the slowest. <laughs> so after this... Um, gosh, I still like usually stream for another hour or so. Thinking about what we could do. Um, if you don't mind me taking like... A few minutes... I could grab my Switch and maybe try out Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which I haven't played since the Wii U, so... Um, although before that, um, if you would like, I can show off the opening and ending cutscenes of this game in Japanese, because, uh, for whatever reason, the game originally had voice acting in the English, or rather, had voice acting in the Japanese version for the opening and ending, but it got taken out of the North American release for some reason. Uh, Goemon's Great Adventure retains the voice acting in the English release. So if you want to see that, even like just one or the other, the ending lets you hear all the characters. So I like how concentrating, or no, how, how much Yai is concentrating firing that bazooka. I can use my words. Man, I forgot how good this music was, too. See, Sasuke is being respectful and going above the women. I am looking respectfully. By which I mean not at all. Oh, it's where I die getting dumples. Ooh! Uh, 
Don't you love doing chores? I'm not at work tomorrow, but I've got some tidying and still some unpacking to do, so... Woohoo. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, actually, Joe told me a little while ago that all the... Uh, at least as the SNES ones have fan translations. I didn't know about the NES ones, too. Going on in his original appearance on the NES, well, I guess the Famicom, looks quite a bit different than he does now, because he doesn't have super spiky hair. But yeah, the SNES ones would be interesting. I mentioned before, but I was quite taken aback, not in a bad way, but surprised playing Goemon's Great Adventure after this. Oh yeah, Hironobu Kageyama. And then Ichiro Mizuki, yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy I was thinking of. But yeah, playing Goemon's Great Adventure and finding it was so different than this, and then learning that Goemon's Great Adventure is actually far more indicative of the rest of the series, and this is the odd one out. And Goemon's Great Adventure is really hard. I mean, granted, I haven't played it since, you know, like, the late 90s, but yeah, that was a tough game. It was fun, and again, the music was good, but ugh. I think it might show me my fortune doll completion now. We can see that I've missed. Or maybe it only shows you your completion if you've gotten all of the the, the fortune dolls. The kitties. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Goemon's Great Adventure is a side-scroller. Um, thank you. That's right. If we've learned anything today, it's Purazuma. But yeah, it's a side-scroller. You only got three hit points. Um... And, uh, what else? Yeah, side-scroller, three hit points. You can get, like, three extra points for armor. Um, your weapon upgrades are acquired within the level um, by picking up fortune dolls. So you upgrade your weapon from, like, uh, level one, two, and three. And if you get hit, you lose weapon levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this. Um... So in the background, I'm going to pull up some uh, the opening cutscene for this game in Japanese, so you can hear uh, what it actually sounds like with the dialogue. Yeah, the SNES one um, plays far more like Goemon's Great Adventure than this one. Hang on, that's not the right tab. No, this is the Harvest Moon music again. Don't need that. Okay, uh, one second. Let's see. Um, here we go. Okay, skip ahead here. Okay, give me a second. And I will... Uh, let's see how, how I do this in OBS. I meant to do this beforehand. And then I didn't. Okay. Um... I don't need to do that. I can just... Because then you lose me. Uh, let me... Do this. And this. And I guess I'll just do this. This. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> okay. Uh, let me... I needed an oh, I love these like ads that I can't do anything so about. Shop here powered by Google built me one for free. Oh... This isn't How do just I for jewelry shops. It is for Hurgle all of retail and service How do I skip ads through OBS? I'm dying. To get your free online store no. built or for more See, now Google's advertising in my stream and I don't like it. Shop here. Well, see, I I'm opening this browser in OBS, like my Firefox has uBlock Origin. Um but, well, whatever. Just I, I truly believe no oh my god I'm dying type of business job, I'm dying you have to write well I'm gonna show you the keys to writing no God how long is this ad freaking stop First, keep it clear and concise oh my god okay no, no no I'm dying OBS the goal is to get your point across in as few words as possible Grammarly really helps I can't I can't skip this where I can rephrase a sentence you know what no no I'm it done with you certain parts that are <laughs> That's most a minute long ad. To no I don't want this anymore you know what why don't I just play this in the background 
Blah, blah, blah. Hang on, let me scoot back. You can hear it, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, like, capturing this. Just imagine it. You can tell who's who, yeah? There's his accent coming through. Honey? Yeah, I guess this is just like an awkward bit at the end of the recording, huh? Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, sorry. I wanted to set this up before the stream properly so I could capture the video properly, but then I didn't because I got home from work, like, uh, not too long before I had to start streaming. <laughs> Look, I could capture my browser, but then I don't want you to- I don't want you to see my, like, 20 tabs. Actually, there isn't that many. There's ten, but... Do you all ever run into one of those hours-long ads? Oh, yeah. That's... that's barren. Nazo no onna. Nazo no otoko. Mystery man and mystery woman. Which game is Kurobe from? I know you can see his ears in the intro, like, between... Uh, uh, the Lord and Princess Yuki. But I don't know what game... Right? I don't know why they cut it. <laughs> there goes the castle. <laughs> ah, there it is, Keikaku. Just as Keikaku. Oh, but he was purple in the Mystical Ninja series. Oh. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Anyway, okay. You can say that's the start of the game. Sorry, I didn't capture that properly, but... Um, so, uh... Goemon uses the personal pronoun Oira! Which, if you're an Undertale fan, may know that that's what Sans uses in the Japanese localization of Undertale and caused a bit of a stir because it has kind of like a, I guess, a country bumpkin um, connotation with it. And uh, Ebisumari uses Wate. Um, I'm not sure the, uh, any, I guess, implications using Wate because there's so many different Japanese personal pronouns and I, you know, I don't know them all. <laughs> I'm still learning the language. But, um, maybe I can try and pull up video of the ending and it won't play me, like, uh, thousand year ads. That'd be cool. Um, so I could show it on stream. Uh, let me, okay, ending it should be this video. Let me see if I can't, oh, you know what I should do? Oh my gosh. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Hang on. Um... If I do do this, uh, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. If I do, um, boo boo boo. If I add uh, this capture, and then I do this, and then oh, see, uh, that's me. I don't want that. Don't want extra Mori because that's too many. I want this. Uh huh. Why didn't I do that in the first place? I don't know. I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. Ugh. 
the streamer is tired from work. Okay. Okay. Here, let me... Here is... Uh, two Mori. Fernandez, <laughs> see? <laughs> you don't need me to translate any of that, right? You got it? I'm not Fernandez, I'm Goemon! You didn't know they were voice? Oh, well, see, you learned something today. I didn't know they were voice for a long time. One Mori for each corner. Newspaper Mario Thousand Year Ads. That's very good. Impact's kind of disconcerting, isn't he? Just that dead stare. Fish-eyed stare. That's the energy you need when someone misgenders you? Just fire a huge laser beam at them? God, I wish. That would be so cool if you could do that. And, like, I guess not get arrested for it. There's probably a law against it. <laughs> Ah, Omichan, that's cute. He calls Omitsu Omichan. Glad you can hear the Neil. That's it. <laughs> ah, hold on. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. Um, so there you go. Uh, let me. So you're not seeing my eight thousand tabs. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> um, yeah. So those are the Japanese voices. Goemon sounds a little more normal than you thought. Oh, that's not what I wanted to get rid of. Dang. Um, what color is Ibisumaru's hair? I think it's um, I think it's black. You can actually see on the back of his head that hood, whatever he's wearing, doesn't cover the whole back of his head. 
Impact is based on the Goemon costume from the NES games. Oh, that's why he's got that. He looks like kind of like Goemon, but different. Um. Okay, so uh, I'm going to stop this recording. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, sorry about like the technical issues near the end there, but thank you for joining me for one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games. I hope you catch whatever it is I wind up streaming. Oh, that's what am I saying? Mario Kart. <laughs> but yeah, you take care on YouTube. Have a good evening. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.